a guy penetrates into a woman's vagina that is that become a break. But anything at all, you choke inside woman anus. You choke inside woman body. What are you vagina? Or through any part of any woman's body, you have actually committed a rape. But that law has not been incorporated in many states. It's all My moderator just reminded me that to tell you that women don't just belong to the Azaru. The Azaru. <laughs> about a crown, crown and saucy. People don't just go and advertise their goods by walking by themselves, by going around employing people to go and sing music, in fact, to advertise what they have. People now go online. In fact, even people that sell opponents go online to advertise their products. Yes, they sell the Wadawa online. Even Kanel, Bank Kanel, they sell the People are buying from different countries. That is why we are even talking about this and uh, all this uh, ground sources is all about. Since you can establish yourself by getting ideas from different people who normally before you can get something doing or get a company or start to do one or two things, you have to employ prof uh, prof uh, professors that are good in that skill so that they can give you one or two ideas whether you should go on, whether this idea or the product you want to do is good enough. But it, now, I guess, people don't do that. They go online to put in their product and what two or three persons comment on it, you get motivated to carry on the idea. That's what consciousness is all about. You get different ideas, goods and services from different people with different views entirely that encourage you to carry on this uh, idea or the product you want to do. Now, if you see people that even sell food, they don't just go ahead advertising and carry people to advertise, so that they create an app for people to give them their own test of food they want to prepare. And when people start giving, I want this food, I want like this, I want like this, they prepare it and you see people coming in to buy. 
because they have given what they want. So now I guess you know that society is moving towards internet civilization. Uh, uh, um, we don't just want to use ourselves or poor people like people used to use to motivate, to motivate themselves. Because of time, I feel I have 30 minutes because we all know that love is actually broad. It's not something you just come and talk about one or two things. So please, I don't think I've used five minutes already. We also know that whatever has advantage and disadvantage, one of the purposes that people go into this council is because it, it is cheap to enter. It is cheap, but you don't need to pay money to get professors from outside to come and lecture you how to make product. You just put the idea online and people will comment. You know the good part. You know how many votes they have given to you to go ahead with your product. And by, by that vote, you will be encouraged to carry on whatever you want to carry on. Because of time, I will just tell you everything about that ground sourcing. But we should just have it in mind that it is all about advertising your code or getting ideas from people online with different skills to carry on your project. And then in creating law abiding youth through crown sourcing, we have first we have to first look at uncommon law quoted by youth due to lack of ignorance in the society. And these things have to be listed. And we were told to talk about three things, that is rape, arm robbery, and internet fraud. And this is what youth are carrying on in the society. In law, there are things we are, the society do that they see is common, but it is not common. They break the law to the society, and if, if you are being caught, you might be sentenced to prison, or to stay, or to jail. So these things are actually, they have to be known by you so that they will not commit such a fraud in the society. Some of those things are death, licensing, shifting, alcohol offenses, under, under age purchase of possession, under age consumption of alcohol, disorder conduct, fighting in the public, fishing money and indecent exposure. Simple assault and battery, bullying when it amounts to assault, cheating or punishing the person, traffic violation. These are some of the things we have mentioned that relate to things that people commit in the society and they say that it is just normal something. Sometimes somebody talks to you, you raise your hand, you want to beat a person. By raising your hand and the person collapses on the floor, you have committed an assault. Though you do not touch the person, but you raise your hand to slap the person. You can be arrested and sentenced to maybe two or one year or two years imprisonment. But if you now beat the person, you have actually committed battery. So sometimes when we are doing things, we should know that this thing you are trying to do, you might land you into trouble. Sometimes when you are over speeding in the, in the road, you don't feel that ah, the road is free, let me speed the way I like. Over speeding is a crime. And when you speak, in fact, the sound of the vehicle, imagine a pregnant woman is standing beside the road. The speed of your vehicle can actually make her to fall down. And at that process, she loses her baby. She can sue you because you commit an assault to the extent that because of your action, she actually lost her baby. Are we following? Are we following? What? But now, the new law of Lagos states, you know that Lagos, they are always fast. In fact, they pull and they are very intelligent. They said that it's not only when a guy penetrates into a woman's vagina that it has become a rape, but anything at all, you choke inside woman anus. You choke inside woman's body. Or through vagina. Or through any part of any woman's body. You have actually committed a rape. But that law has not been incorporated in many states. But in other things, it stands that a rape can only be complete when a man's organ enters into a woman's vagina. That is when we have committed a rape. Then we have what is called indecent assault. A man cannot be raped. A man can only be assaulted. Yes, sir. You have a definition, the definition I said. You don't have a vagina that a woman can penetrate. So how can a woman rape you? Is it possible? No. The woman can rape a man. So it's only a man that can rape a woman. But the woman can assault a man. When you force the man to do, when you don't want to do, you force the man to do, you, 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 you,
as the white chip, your life don't end. So try to avoid all those things because they are against the law. And somebody brings something for you to keep. Ask the person, where, where did you get this thing from? Because stealing um, 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 quality and bringing for you to keep. You have now committed a crime by assisting that person to collect and hide. Wow. So it's rather you will be sentenced to pay a fine or sometimes you will be sentenced to three years imprisonment. Imagine you go and stay in for three years for something you did not do. So sometimes we avoid all this thing. When somebody brings something for you to keep, ask very well where did you get it from. And when somebody buys something, sometimes we guess we like expensive things. A boy will bring iPhone, bring head of 100 and something. Ask him very well, where did you get it from? Because at the time they arrested him, you too you will be caught because the property is found on your possession. So when you are asking for a guide, when you are asking, ask wisely and know what is doing that afford that property that he gave to you. Do we understand? Yes. Right on. That was a beautiful one. That was a beautiful one.